Hi everyone. So I am inspired to talk about leadership. I think if you are a leadership coach or you're in that coaching environment where you talk about a lot about leadership, then the most common question that you will open up is by asking everyone, what is leadership and how do you define a leadership? And so here's my perspective. I believe in creating a culture where you are leading through inspiration. And I believe inspiration will lead to innovation. Now, there are a few of us who believe that in order to lead, we lead by a method of hierarchy. So there are those individuals who have the capacity in becoming leader and great. So that's lead those people who have the capacity to become the leader and who are capable for becoming the leader. So the word here is capable. And I have a lot of mixed feeling about the word capacity and capable. What defines someone's capacity? What defines someone's capability? If you have someone who's driving a bus and who's doing so well in driving the bus, that person has a great capacity and great capability of driving the bus. Does that mean that person has no capacity in becoming the CEO of a company? Perhaps not, because you never allow that person to step out of their capacity of being a bus, a bus driver to a place where they can become the CEO of a company. Now, that that's not to say that that person cannot be a CEO of just one person company, two person company, or 5,000 people company. So I really think that in order to have run a successful um company or culture or even just creating a work environment, we need to get rid of that mentality of treating people like a hierarchy. So you don't just train the first top 10%. You treat everybody equally. And the idea, I really love what Simon Sinek has said about how the leadership work. And <clears throat> he said it perfectly. You don't lead the people who's, um, so you are not responsible for, the, for your customer. You're not responsible for um, making sure your result. You are responsible for the people that you, who's responsible for those results. And I, I just love what he had brought up and, and point out the fact that a lot of us are leading, having that mindset of hierarchy, the first top 10%, and then we have the bottom, you know, 90% of the people, a majority of the people who may not have that capability of becoming a leader. Now, the reason why they are not becoming the leader, there's a couple of things. They may not want to become a leader or they may not realize that they have the capacity to lead. So if we were to eliminate those 90%, I don't feel that is a trusted environment that we can create. And I don't believe that that would be a culture that is a culture that we want to create. What we want to create is a culture where everyone have the equal potential and opportunity to step up to their play and becoming that top 10%. That is the culture that we want to create.